end of the very first special stage here on day two of International Rally Queensland. First of our APRC cars is now rolling up to the stop point. That's where we're going to catch up with our leading ARC teams after a very interesting first day. Eli Evans with a pretty commanding lead and outright. We'll have Simon Evans and Tony Sullins rejoin today. But the best they can hope for, of course, is leg points. Four-wheel drive, however, is a different matter. Three teams battling it out and within a minute. Can't wait to speak to them. I'm fighting the demons of going flat out and racing Simon and Molly to to uh, taking the outright win, you know, with a four minute advantage. So it's just, it's just, I'm just putting it down as experience. I've got to find a rhythm today and stick with it. Try to ignore what Simon's doing, but I'm struggling already. Actually had a miss in the engine. It was just cutting out. Um, it was like I was touching the gear shift and just kept cutting the engine. But then we went through the water splash and that cleared the cut. <laughs> and the Honda was fantastic from then on. And I was just hanging on for the ride, it was awesome. Literally, I could not see a thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we turned the demister on before we hit the water and uh, yeah, I've never driven with a screen that bad. We had, I had about the size of a pea, so left-handed I could almost see and to the right, absolutely nothing. So we we're almost stopped. Yeah. Well, that started off really well, a bit disappointed because we, um, came into the creek and then it fogged up so like in that open bit the windscreen fogged up and the sun was in the eye so I couldn't really see so I've lost a bit in there which is a bit disappointing but I guess it's going to be the same for everyone. It was shocking. We were, we were the fastest of anybody to the, to the creek crossing, stopped in the creek again. We sat there for two minutes waiting for the thing to start. I'd reckon then the car behind us almost caught us. Pretty much got no stump guard on there, just a bit of aluminium checker plate from Bunnings yesterday. So we're taking it very easy because the stages are getting quite rough and cut up. So under the braking zones, it's really compressing the shock. So it's um, yeah, quite dangerous there for us. You know, there was a big creek and we had the, the windscreen fog up on us into the sun, which wasn't ideal. But, um, you know, we, we only lost a little bit of time, but it was a really good run through there. And I enjoy that stage. It's yeah. lots of fun. The second half of the stage, we couldn't see. We stopped, tried to clear it. And the handbrake jammed on. Um, so yeah. You can't to take a trick, can you? No, no, I just can't get a trick this weekend, so, man, what do you do? Nice clean run this morning. Um, yeah, beautiful stage. A little bit uh, tricky coming through the water splash, defogging the screen and uh, coming up into the sun, but, um, yeah, ran through there nice. Uh, I think the bumper was done for damage from yesterday, so... <laughs> There were certainly some dust and some sunny spots in there that made it very interesting, but a uh, bit of an excursion at the Water Creek, but uh, nevertheless, just uh, we got back into it and kept going. The turbo hose sounds like it's come off at about 10k, so um, I was pedalling like bloody uh, Barney Rubble there up some of those hills. Yeah, oh, yeah just after the... <laughs> 